I can move. What is up, you guys? SB Anime Crossover here. Welcome back to another video. And um, another reaction. I heard that uh, Fire Pack 7 got revealed. And uh, I was trying to avoid spoilers. So let's get right to it. So I'm going to look it up right now to see who it is. Oh boy, this better be something good. Alright. Let's look it up. So. I don't know if I should find the Super Smash Bros. channel. All right. All right. Let's see what we can find here. Who is it? Who is it going to be? Uh, fortunately, I couldn't find anything. So, where is it? I looked on Nintendo's channel. I didn't even see anything. It weren't accurate. Hold up. Sakurai presents a new fighter. How about that? Alright, who is it going to be? Wait, who is it? Oh. What? Oh! No! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah, I, I don't believe that thumbnail. No way. I don't believe that thumbnail. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hey, it's Mario. Okay, you got that. Okay. Are you shit? No! They did- No, 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 no! They did not! What?! What?! Is that their upbeat? Holy sh... Yo, everybody blow- No! Oh... You play zombie?! Oh man, these characters, holy crap! Oh! <laughs> oh my God. Wait, what? Oh, that's sick! He's just marching on the freaking. Oh my God! Yes! Yo, I want, I want my. Oh. 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 Oh.
Minecraft and Smash. I, 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 I love that. I love that. I was just playing that game. Nintendo から最初に相談を受けて、えー、持ちかけられることが多いのですよねもちろん実現が難しければ断ることもできるわけですけれども任天堂の担当者が来て言うわけですよ「桜井さんマインクラフトってスマブラに入れられないですかね?」って眼鏡をクイックイッってあげながら簡単に言ってくれますよねまあ魔法的な何かと勘違いしてるんじゃないですかねマインクラフトってどういうゲームだか知ってますもう駆け引きとかを成立させながらあのゲームをスマブラに落とし込むそりゃ無理でしょうだからはっきりビシッと言ってやりましたよはい、はい、できます、まあ、企画するだけならパパッと考えられますグラフィックは簡単に済むでしょうモーションもまあ簡単な部類だと思いますサウンドは他のファイター並みかなと要素は多いけれども声がないですからねだけれどもとにかくプログラマーが大変です死にます、えー、そして、えー、ステージ全部のステージに対して、えー、ブロックを置くという要素を入れるんだったら手を加えなければいけないとかバイオームはどうするんだとか<笑>、えー、そういうような要素もありますあとなんといっても企画なり、えー、ゲームバランスの調整なりについてはもうすでに未知の領域と言ってもいいぐらいですねその、えー、体術とかリーチの短さみたいなものも含めてうまくまとめるのはとっても難しいです戦法もすごく変わったものになるでしょうねだけれどもなんとか発売にこぎつけられそうになってきたので、えー、今日お知らせと、えー、参戦ムービーの、えー、ご報告をした次第です参戦ムービーである程度分かったこともあるとは思うんですけれどもそれ以上のいろいろなプレゼンというのはやっぱりこの後行いたいと思っています<笑>今までのファイターとは全く異なる要素が多数あると思いますのでよく見て、えー、使い方を知っていただければ幸いです<笑>、えー、その放送はこちらですマインクラフトライブの直前に機会を持ち改めて説明することが決まりました you, 私ももちろんマインクラフトはプレイしてますよ、oh. えー、クラフトモードで、oh, えー、ビレー建築などはしないですけれどもサバイバルモードで生き残りや街の繁栄などを楽しんでいたりしますとりあえず今日はここまで後日放送のスティーブ・アレックスの使い方放送をお楽しみにしてくださいそれでは Stay safe, Sakurai. Okay, so guys, we got Steve. I, we got freaking Steve. Oh, we got Steve and Smash. I can't believe we can't. I can't believe it. I know a lot of people are losing their shit right now. I, I think I lost a little bit too because. No, I can't. I, nah, I'm, I'm playing this character when I get him. And, uh, Steve. Well, I know he eventually will make it to Smash, but this is. Wow, this was a great pick, to be honest. Thank you, Sakurai. Steve's in Smash, guys. And we got、uh, other skins,、uh, character skins that are coming along with them, too. I'm curious what the other ones are. I mean. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. I was actually on Discord, on voice chat. I was actually、uh, playing、um, the game、uh, recently, and.、Um, I didn't think、uh, Steve would come up. Wow, that was that was something, guys. I was like, no way. It, wasn't, it, it, can't, it couldn't be Steve. It couldn't be Steve. It can't be. And. Wait. That is nuts. I don't know if you guys know, but there was a leaker back then, v e r g a m i n I don't really. Talk leaks. I don't really talk leaks because it's best not to believe them. He did say there was some kind of Minecraft content, and、um, what do you know? It turns out that there was Minecraft content, and it turned out to be Steve playing. Alright, l guys. I looked at the time right here. I have nine minutes in the recording. There's another video I want to react to right now, and、uh, I think it's important for some of you guys to know about it, so let me go and check that out right now. Okay, you guys, if you don't know、uh, Pikachu and Sonic, she's one of the YouTubers that follow me and follow along with Gabe. And、uh, 
There is a video called Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Times Mermaid Melody, Peachy Peachy Pitch, Continuality er Errors, and Plant Stories. I'm going to react to it as well as the DLC reveal. So, uh, I'm going to pre- uh, This is in the premiere, just so you know. And let's check it out. Alright. Okay, that's actually a good intro. I kind of like how you pitched the, um, you got a star from Super Mario Galaxy. That's actually pretty dope. I kind of get like, um, we get like a badge from Pokemon or something. I don't know. I just get that vibe or something. Yeah, whatever. Let's continue on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, then. Hello. Hey guys, it's me, Natalie the Lifefly, and this video is going to be about SSB and Anime Crossovers fan dub, yeah. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Cross Mermaid Melody Peachy Peachy Pure the Movie. Mm -hmm. And this video will be about continuity errors, planned sagas, I'm looking at you, Mikado, and what could have been planned. So with that said, let's get this Mermaid Melody party started. Okay then. Okay, it's so season one. Well, you all know what the title right, is about. Cool. This is about the continuity errors between the original series and SSB's fandom. Episode 1 and 2 started out fresh with Mario, Luigi, Kirby, and Ash's Pikachu meeting Lucia, Hanon, and Rina and defeated Gaito. And by the third episode, things got turned into bullcrap. When episode oh. 3 is revealed, one of Mikado's servants, Lady Bat, made his debut in that episode, but that character did not debut until Season 2 in the Mikero Saga later in the series, and also Alala in Episode 4. This is a huge red flag, even for fans like me. Well, uh, first of all, if you're curious, though, this was... Well, it, it's supposed to... Uh, okay, how do I say this? Okay, so if you are wondering, guys, Alala and Lady Bat, they known about the Marine Princesses, and when Gaito decided to, like, you know get the revenge he started like um looking for Shisha and mimi and of course they were aware of lady bat and alala now if i don't know if you if you guys uh, saw the last episode gaito just came back out of nowhere it was episode 92 or 91 i believe and he was like right there and then they he just came back because why the heck not they decided to bring him back because if you guys seen season one i'm sure you're aware of what happened in season one he uh died in the he went down with the castle, of course. And and he was like right there in in the scene with all the characters. He was right there. You guys you guys must have seen the last episode. And Shisha and Mei were there. Now if if when they know uh Alala and Lady Bad, they must have told him about it right there and, and because that's what's going on in my plot right here. And when Gaito knew about Alala and Lady Bat from there on and then into this fandom series of course I, that I was doing he was able to get them and that's how they joined up with him and the crew but uh of course Alala and Sh uh, uh what was up Shishi and Mimi were um uh, were aware that Gaito was secretly bringing them back so what the heck let's continue on who have never met Gaito in the original series, but these two do know Shesha and Mimi in yes, season two. Of course, they so yeah. I guess they have been added for Minion's sake. Well, around episode five, Sarah appears in that episode, but the character did not make its debut until episode fifty-three of the original show. This character did not appear until being episode ninety physically in the final chapters of Pure. And then in episode six, things get weird compared to the stupid mud boat. Ah, spoiler alert! Ah! In episode 35, 47, 50, 51, 61 of season 1 and 2, prior to the events of the show, Sara was in love with Taoru when she was 15 years old, but due to him leaving without saying goodbye, she cried and was heartbroken, and she kept her dark emotions, were kept in a clamshell, but when the Indian mermaid family realized her dating secret negative energy from Nichelle, it turned her hair black and gave her powers, causing her pearl to go crazy, and destroying her own kingdom, killing everyone except Coco and Kaito. Who was with his parents, and because of her tears, Coco tried cheering her up, 
but she was told not to touch her and telling her to stay out of her way and never wants to see her again for life, causing her to find Gaito's castle and started dating him instead and shared their first kiss. Even though she was able to sing a song of doom to her crush, I managed to step in and be the heroine. But when she noticed how much Ayla meets me, she cried and shed tears for her ex. And that's how she helped us stop Gaito. She sacrificed her pearl and her own life, but now she has rejoined once more. And afterwards, Sarah was captured by Mikeru and Lucia made her decision to find her heart shards. Obviously, okay. if so would have debuted in season two, this would have made sense. Well, in episode seven, Sara made the decision to stay with her BFF Coco, her rival Hanon, and her successor slash daughter, aka the future of the Indian Ocean Mermaid Kingdom, leaving her second ex behind. Okay. Twin sagas and scenes. In the OVA and the season 2 premiere, the masked swordman made his debut, and it's actually Gaito again. Well, my castmate Gabe was confused because season 2 was going to kickstart the Mikado saga, giving Kaito amnesia and giving Lucia and her friends an arc. Well, you would think Mikaru is his alter ego slash nobody would appear in season 2, right? But... Hell no! It's just another stupid Gaido chapter that really broke the camel's back. <laughs> and then the Mikado arc was just another big fat lie. Or as Rena would say this. <laughs> Thank you, Happy. Anyway, Gaito coming back ruined the timeline of the original. He did come back after the Mikaru saga, the final episode with Sara and his minions. Yeah, Another yes, thing is that Gabe made a deleted scene where Ash's Pikachu used Thunderbolt on Alala. Okay, before I get to that, um, about that deleted scene because I heard about it. So, if you guys are wondering, um, season two is going to happen differently. And I can't say why because NDA, I can't say anything because I got a... Uh, Better plans than doing the Mikeru arc instead of like you know now it's a whole it's a whole different story in season two but I'm not saying why but I'm sure you guys are aware of what you think uh what do you think might happen next because if Gaito thinks that Dark Kong will be coming I mean what do you guys think what do you think will happen because it's only season it's the first episode that it's been eight months since I uploaded that one and also. Um, how do I say this? The Masked Swordsman uh, made a debut in a random anime challenge battle. Luigi was battling this Ayumi Mi from an anime that you guys have never heard of. He, he gets an encounter with him. He teams up with Ayumi. They took him out. It's been a few battles. And then season... The first season 2 episode 1, it's... It turns out to be Gaito. And why was he the Masked Swordsman? And of course, you've seen the OVA. He was possessed by a Darkon spirit because Darkon has lost his physical form. And if you're wondering why Darkon is helping Gaito, he's trying to gain his physical form. So he takes over Gaito. And of course, that journey begins there for Season 2. So what do you guys think will happen? Because Season 2 is not going to go the way you think it will be going like the, in the Pure Season, if you guys see seen Pure. It's going to be crazy. But I'm not saying why. You guys have to predict for yourself. Alright? Let's keep watching. Uh, in episode 4, this scene would have made sense if Pikachu would have blasted her off like a Team Rocket reference. As you may know, Pikachu was originally going to use Thunderbolt on Lala, but it was changed to Rosalina's Star Children instead. Uh, let's keep watching. Good one, Mario. Take her down. Go get him, Pikachu! Yes. Give Team Rocket a dose of your Thunderbolt! Ha <laughs> ha 
you serious? Are you serious? Yeah, we are serious, Jonah. Overall, SSB and Enemy Crossover did an amazing job on this fan up, and I appreciated it. Yeah, thank you very much, Nat. Uh, I just do, I just want to clarify that that was not what originally what he planned to do, to be honest. Sorry, that's a shoot right there, because um, I was not originally planning to let Pikachu use Thunderbolt, because Rosalina's um, Star Charger had to have some significance in protecting the, the whole place, because they can't let... Uh, a spread of evil hanging around a star road. They gotta keep everything pure and not and let the stars rest there and the power stars rest. So um yeah that was not originally planned to be honest. Yeah. So that's how the episode was supposed to go anyway. And uh sorry to shoot that right there. But anyways I do appreciate the the summary and everything what could have been there but uh that's not why Ray J had in mind. Alright, let's keep watching. But what Gabe and I don't like is plot holes, continuity errors, and Mikhailer Saga being MIA. Yes, in other words, we might also include some cameos of characters from previous seasons of other anime series. Since the Glitter Force Girls appeared in an episode of Mermaid Melody Peachy Peachy Pure in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, we actually decided to think that there might be characters from Fairy Tale, Higurashi no Naku Koroni, and a few other anime series that would help out Mario and the others. I think it would turn out wonderful. <laughs> yes, please! I can't wait to see what will happen! Also, episode 9 of his fan dub will take place after Gabe's episode 2 of his fan dub. You know what? I think it's best to see what's in store, so we hope to see what's up next on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Cross Mermaid Melody Peachy Peachy Pitch Pure. If you appreciated it, please be sure to smash the like button and make sure you hit the bell icon so you'll never miss a video of a second it goes live. Make sure you comment below and give us honest thoughts. We do not want any trolls allowed, or otherwise, Red Hoenn will hunt you, you down to the ends of the earth. So, with that being said, please subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends. And thank you guys and girls for watching us the life lights. And we will see you all on the flip side. Bye! Hey, you want your crew movie team? Alright, thanks. Thanks, guys. Oh, wait. Okay, that's very nice. All right, that's that's very nice, Nat. Okay, so if you guys are wondering, um, I'm not working on the second episode of season two yet. If you guys are wondering what's going on, there's a lot of work I'm dealing with today, and there's also some crazy background stuff happening, as well as you know about the pandemic. Of course, it's restricting us to do a lot of things. That's on the side. That's beside the point, and also. I am working on the Mega Flower movie, and you guys already know that it's going to be a big movie. And I'm not sure, it's been like somewhat delays going on. I'm not sure when is the exact day I'm going to premiere it. I will make a trailer on the week it will premiere. And I'm taking a break from season 2, episode 2. But when the movie is done, after I premiere it, I will get to working on the next episode immediately. Also, uh, for the characters that I might add, I can't say anything, to be honest. Because it's up to me if what other characters I will add. And I've never been familiar with some of the characters from the Higurashi, whatever it's called. And um, it's not really my taste, to be honest, but the characters are cool. But not really my taste. It's up to me what characters I want to put in there. And also, uh, what else? The Glitter Force characters... They were there for um for uh what happened because uh if you if you guys seen the World of Light movie uh Glitter Lucky encountered the uh, the Mass Swordsman who was Gaito but he was not the Mass Swordsman right there and uh, Shadow Lucky was revived because uh there was something going on with Darkon and the Mass Swordsman they somehow brought her back for some reason well then again the darkness the power of darkness but that's beside the point. So, um, they were able to come in the episode to tell Mario and the crew what happened, and that's what, that's what, and it goes from there. So, yeah, 
that's what I had to make for the update. So I'm working on the movie. Season 2, Episode 2 will come right after the movie is done and premiered, all right? I'm not saying when's gonna, when the movie's going to be premiering because it's been some a lot of stuff happening. So, uh, but I do appreciate this video. Not, do, do, you did a great job. And um, for the plot holes, yeah, pretty much since in the final episode of the actual anime, Gaito did come back and then he was able to know them. Uh, Lady Bat and Alala from Shishi and Mimi. And if you look in the reaction in episode 4 when Alala came back, they were expecting it because Gaito uh, was secretly wanting to like, get more minions and pretty much. So, uh, yeah, guys. I promise I'll be doing those things. And it's gonna be the movie is going to be great. And uh, it's going to have a lot of good uh, battles and uh, awesome music. You And uh, hopefully it won't get copyrighted because I'm trying to be aware of what music I have to use. Yeah, I gotta watch out. Because, uh, you know, YouTube. Alright? So, thank you guys for sticking around this premiere and reaction. Be sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe. And also, subscribe to Pikachu and Sonic for this video. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in another reaction. And hopefully, I'll play up on more compilations and stuff for the moment. And, uh, yeah. I'll be ending off here. Peace.